you guys want to make a working menu a bit like this. Selecting Vermont beer, please. Yeah, please. So I'll show you how to. First, you open up a new game. Next, you go to Roblox sets and put in three teams of any colour you want. I'm just on do the three most popular teams, whatever. And delete all those spawn locations. Now you can see teams. So one, you can you change the team colour to white. But father two, or you can have more teams if you want, like to do a different thing. Father two, you can do any colour you want. Since I'm doing <gasps> police and um, prisoner game jailbreak two, I make the cops blue. I make the prisoners mm, orange, not yellow. I meant Owens. No, not got and Owens. There. So, if you you rename the, f the first one that you changed white to rename it to anything you want, I'll re rename it to choosing. Next, you rename the other two what you want it to be, like cops or prisoners. So I'm done rename this one. Police, don't wait, name this one prisoners. Next, to go to police, you can see auto single, press that, then gone. There, and you go to prisoners, auto symbol, press that tick, gone. But only one you keep is choosing or whatever because that one you have to spawn on. Next you go to start a guy, wh right click and press insert object. You go insert A, what is it? I forgot. Um. You insert the screen guy. So if I can find it. <laughs> um. Sorry guys about this. I'm just not good at finding items. Am I showing the right one? Start to guy. Yeah. Start to guy then insert object. Then find a screen guy. Yeah, there, screen guy. The next in the screen guy, you insert another object and it's going to be a text button. And you insert another text button and do as much text buttons of how much teams you're going to do. Then, first text button, you rename that one to your team. So, I will rename it to Police. And I will rename the other text button to prisoners next I go down here down here all the way down here up a bit then you can see it says bottom so you change that bottom text to your team so prisoners again there then it says prisoners up there change the police one instead of bottom police Next, you insert another object in screen guy, and that's going to be a frame. If I can find, if I can find it there, 
frame and that will be the background of it so since we've done it the other way around we have to I'll just put the teams in wherever you want like server storage that's nearest thing so I put it there so there frame you can put in position change the position but I want to right there as well you can change the size I want that this bigger some I want it whole screen you can do any size you want guys it's up to you there full screen next I put the police and prisoners inside the frame now I move the police and prisoners to where I want I'm going to copy this one so I'm going to copy the same thing so prisoners are in zero position um one two hundred so yeah one then Two hundred there. Now I move police down. So what was my position last time? Let me see. Um position two hundred. there now I make it the size I want it so I want it the same size as last time so I go 200 here then delete this 200 make it 0 and add this 1 there won't it For some reason, it's keep on disappearing. <laughs> I think it doesn't work if you put two hundred one. I meant, yeah. So if I remove this, put it zero, and put that to two hundred. I'll just have it like that then. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this one to. the same sorry guys about t this taking so long there I'm just done to go with this and next I'm done to change the colour of the background right here back background colour free so here yeah, it'll bring you up into here how am I like the prisoners Owens, let's try and find Owens. Oh, we could find Owens on here. Right there. Okay, then go to police one. And change the colour of that. Um of course I'm done do it that. <laughs> and I'm done to actually make a f change the colour of the frame to red. Um, I like it red. I'm there. This time, I just want to change the size because a bit too big. Actually, no, still, buttons will be small this time. So, next. You 
insert a local script. Oops. You go to police or whatever your team is, then find insert objects and insert insert a wall block a local script, not a wall block script. Now you delete print hello world, then the script will be in the description. So if I go over here, copy it in, then press that, then go to insert object on that team again. Then you insert insert a T uh where's that? Object value. So insert object then object value. Then you call the value team And after that, you make your value police there. Next, you go to prisoners, insert object, insert a wall local script, delete to print hello world, then put in the same script again. And close that. Go to prisoners or your team. Insert object. Insert a object value. And guys, you cannot just copy and paste each other. You have to do it legit because out two won't work. Then you rename it again to team. Then this time. You'd click on value, then tap it on prisoners instead of police. There. So now let's test it out. There, won't it? Did I forgot something? Um, let me quickly check. Wait a minute, was there something in the team? Guys, I'm just on quickly check, because look what happens if we join in now. We get into a game, but don't change the team. Wait a minute. Sorry guys, I done the wrong thing. So you know the thing I said put in there? Actually the value have to be the team you're going on to. So the prisoner one or whatever, tap on the team you want it to go in. And the same on the other one. Then now it should work. Yeah, it works now. So guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. And peace out. Blah, 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 blah.